Welcome to Sethcraft. I just finished assembling the Otour Laser Master 3 LE. It's the 10 watt laser and uh, it's looking pretty good. But if you've ever worked with lasers before, you know that they don't smell very good if you are cutting with them or engraving with them inside of a, a workshop or a house. So I've also got the Otour enclosure that is supposed to fit this laser well. So today I'm gonna to be unboxing and assembling this. So let's go ahead and jump in to this assembly. Yeah. Comes with a flexible hose, which is very nice. I didn't uh, know what to expect, so it's good to have that included. We can uh, vent this out my window. Looks like a pretty standard computer fan. Inside of the box you have the enclosure material which seems to be infused with some kind of rubber which will help with the smell for sure. It also has this flexible tube, it has a very lightweight frame material, a couple of clamps to go around that hose, it also has an adapter here, a user manual, some zip ties, a couple of screws, it's got the computer fan and then the cables for power back here on the back. The assembly instructions seem pretty clear. Let's just uh, get into this and see how well they actually do. So we need to find the front of this enclosure. Looks like, yep, this one over here is the front. As you can see right there with the Otour logo. Let me go ahead and unzip this using this top zipper right here. All right, there we go. Does have a window, which is nice to be able to open up and look into your material. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is find the rear. Uh, let's see, we got three of these. Let's see if they're all the same. Not quite. So we have one that is a little bit shorter and two that are the same. So the two that are the same are gonna be the sides. So I've got this one right here, it's gonna go into the back of this enclosure. Once you get that metal frame pushed to the back of the enclosure, there are snaps that are actually really strong. So you just get this tab up and over that bar and then press this down into that snap and that will keep this bar into position. I believe there's one of those on each corner. So if I move down here and push this one up right here, and get that snapped into position. And I have to do that on all four corners. Once the back frame is put in, I'm gonna take the two sides, which are these two pieces with the same uh, dimensions here, and those are gonna go in here for each of the sides. And just like with the back, it also has snaps here to make sure that this piece stays where it's supposed to. Now I have this smaller loop right here and that's gonna go in the front for keeping up this smaller flap here in the front. The two remaining metal rods are gonna be for the lid. And so right up under here, there are more of these snaps I'm just going to get this down here and snap that like I've been doing with the rest of these. And then the last one is going to go up here on the lid, just like the previous one did. Now it's time to get the fan assembly installed. I'm going to take this little adapter or sleeve and place it into the position there. And then on the fan itself, there actually is a little arrow that points basically away from this little metal grate. And so that's just gonna line up there. And then the hardware that it's included are just some little screws and a couple of washers. And so I'm gonna put the washer on the screw and then I'm gonna line up this fan and uh, stick that screw through there. It's a little bit difficult to see. Okay, just got that fan installed. 
That's what it looks like on the inside. If I step out here, you can see what it looks like out here. It just has those four screws with that little sleeve on the outside. The enclosure also comes with an LED light that I'm going to be putting up here. So let me go ahead and get this into position and then once again use these snaps to put it into place. The power cable from the exhaust fan is to go up here and share the same position as the uh, front metal bar as far as going into these snaps. And so I'm going to bring that up here and uh, just follow this path along. And that will keep this up away from the laser itself. There we go. And now this unit comes with this extension cable that will connect the light and the fan together. So just snapping this here and snapping, let's see this one right here. And now those two can follow the path down to the front of the unit. As you can see, the wire goes up from the fan, follows along this top metal bar, goes around to this side over here, and then reaches down to the front over here. And this will attach to the input output connection of the O-Tour laser. And there we have it. That's the basic assembly of this housing. Let's go ahead and zip this up and then take a look at the window. And then we will do a little tour around this enclosure to see how well it's going to work for our laser. And then after that, we'll go ahead and attach the laser in here and uh, do a cut engraving to see how well it goes. Uh, so there is a zipper all the way around this window. If I open that up, I can flip it back like that and then see down in there. We'll take a closer up look at that shortly whenever we have the laser in the housing. So that's very cool. Let's flip this back and zip it. So it's got these reflective tapes on here, which is interesting. Has the or tour logo there on that side. So if we move this around here, has lots of different storage compartments. Not entirely certain what's gonna be going in there. Um, it's very interesting. Here's where the exhaust is for the, um, that tube that will go outside. And then right here, if you need to access this to put some cables in there, you can on the back doesn't have anything moving over to this side this side of the housing has a vent that will flap up as air is passing in there but hopefully won't let air to pass back out this way once again has a little velcro tab down here so you can access the inside for cables and it has a couple of little storage compartments over here all right so that's the basics of what this looks like Let's go up to the shop and install this and I will just for now use my window to stick the exhaust tube out of. I just moved the enclosure up here to my top shop so that means it's time to get the exhaust hose connected and I'm going to be tossing this out the window like this so that those exhaust fumes will go out there. So first thing I want to do is take this ring and get it around this tube. I feel like it's going to be pretty tight so I may have to uh, Really put some force behind it. All right, there we go. At least one full ring around there. All right, and now I just want to press this onto the plastic adapter here. Okay, that worked out pretty good. I've just got that clamped onto the plastic piece, and luckily it's the same side as my window. Now that I have the enclosure finished, I'm gonna go ahead and set the Otour Laser Master 3 LE in here and see how well it fits. Seems to fit well and has plenty of extra space. So I got the enclosure up here in my top shop and I hooked up the light and the fan and the tube to send the exhaust outside. And uh, I was having a little trouble with the uh, light and the fan turning on. And I realized that I hadn't programmed it into Lightburn to come on whenever the um, program tells it to come on. So I found an adapter instead and just did a direct connection. So I have a um, on-off button over here that turns on that light. So 
that's where we are now. Let's continue with this review. I was also doing some work with a different laser, but I'll put the Otour back in here in just a moment. So first of all, I got a 24 volt, one amp wall plug, and it goes to this switch right here. When you do that, it turns on the light, which actually is remarkably nice to be able to film in here or even just see what you're doing with the uh, open window up here. So check this out. Now you can look in there and see what's going on as you work. Now the exhaust fan has done very well. You can tell it's not too loud, um, especially when this is closed. You can easily watch TV or work in your house or shop while that's going on. The hose here, I just uh, clamped in, stuck it out the window. I'll have to do a pass-through cut through some plywood later on to get this uh, more, I guess, permanent because it's still letting some of the air in through those cracks. But uh, So that has turned out well. The holes on the side uh, allow for a power cord to go through, so there's no problems there. So, for instance, if you have an air assist, you can stick that in here as well. There's plenty of room. And uh, as far as cable management, that goes up and out of the way. So my thoughts on the enclosure. It has worked well for about uh, three or four projects here. And uh, the only thing that I would change on this unit is something to better keep the uh, poles here from slipping off. So because the sides flex a bit, you can push them in and that pole will fall down. So I don't know, maybe some little snap or plastic piece that would go around that and hold it up. The same thing occurs on these others. It's supposed to have this Velcro that holds the pole in there, but it's not very effective. And so that can fall down really easy um, or get stuck over here. Um, but as soon as you zip this up, it uh, corrects that issue. Just a mild inconvenience. The enclosure is big enough to fit the majority of your desktop lasers. And so uh, you can put other brands in here if you need to. But the Ortur enclosure has done remarkably well. I've run several projects on a laser inside of this Ortur enclosure. And I have to say I'm now 100% on board with having an enclosure inside of the shop. The fume extraction works very well to take those fumes out the window. Now whenever you open the top back up, you do have a bit of residual smell that will come into the shop and even get onto your clothes. But if you try to cut through quarter inch plywood without this enclosure, this little room here would be unbearable. So definitely a big thumbs up on this enclosure. And like I said, the only change I would make is to um, keep those poles uh, attached to the lid a little bit better. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and I will have a link to this enclosure in the description down below. I'm Seth with the Seth Craft Workshop, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.